Welcome to How To with Instant Atlas Designer. Today I'm going to take you through the steps to see how easy it is to change the look and feel of your dynamic report. This video follows on from the How To with Instant Atlas Publisher and this is the atlas that was created in that video. You can see I've got my postcode sectors as my base geography, my postcode districts as my contextual geography and I've got my background mapping as well. I'm going to use the designer to change this look and feel now. I've opened the config.xml file, which is located in the Atlas folder that I published in the publisher video. And you can see this is the back end of the Atlas. I can click on one of the components, I can move it around, change the size of it. So I'll do that with a couple here so we can see how things change easily. And then but all I need to do once I've changed these is I need to save it and then refresh my atlas. So let's save that now and then refresh the atlas. You can see how easy that was to make some changes to the Instant Atlas Dynamic Report using the designer. Now I'm going to change the map palettes. Currently we've got the blues in the background here. Now I'd like to change that to a green palette. I'm going to click this button here, Map Palettes and Color Schemes. I'm going to change the first one here, the blue one, and I'm going to click on this color here, the light blue, and change that to a light green. Click OK. And for the darker one, I'm going to change it to a dark green. Now I could put it in using HSB, RGB, hexadecimal, or the W3C colors, but for now I'm just going to choose a swatch. OK. I'm going to click save there and we'll see how quickly just by refreshing the atlas that comes through. You can see those changes have already been made. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the style editor. This complements the designer and I'm going to use the global find and replace to change all of the border colors from blue to green. So I click on this global find and replace button. I choose border color, click OK, and then I scroll down to the blue that I'm looking for. I can see this is the current color, but I want to change the new color. So let's click on that new color. I'm going to change it to this light green over here, and I'm going to click OK. You can see now that that's been changed. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to post those changes up to the designer, and then I'm going to save the changes in the designer. I'm going to refresh my atlas. And you can see already how different that looks. There are a lot more things that you can change using the designer and the style editor, but this video gives you a quick overview how to change a small number of things. If you want more information on how to change the data that is shown in this atlas, you can look at the how to with Instant Atlas Excel Data Manager video.